What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous, most toxic black man on the internet. And I'm Black. I've been your face again with some more pro black commentary. So here it is, folks. This is going to be my commentary on this fake ass weirdo therapist that was on social media telling black men that they need to get therapy or that they need help and trying to basically browbeat black men and be dismissive to them about what make it seem like there's just something wrong with them when clearly she's the one that is sick in the head. Okay. And, and the woman's name is, uh, Shabri Rawls. I call her shabby draws because j- just judging by the dustiness and the, dis- and, uh, disheveled look of her actual home, I would assume she's a person that probably just wears the same underwear all the time until they have holes and, and are rips in them. And she just seems like a very uh, dusty, messy person. And this is uh, very, how should I say this? This is very indicative of her, of her psychology, okay? So she made a, a few videos online talking to black men and saying they need to improve. Uh, what, what, what's her word that she uses? Emotional emotional communication or something like that it's like she keeps saying she says it like over and over and over again you'll hear it when I, i'm going to play the audio i'm not going to show the videos of it not just because i don't want to get copyrights because it's her content but also because i just don't want to showcase this woman acting a, a damn fool because if, if it's true what i i surmise about her that she does have some sort of mental issues then me putting her out there like this is only going to cause her more problems. And, you know, it's obviously she wanted attention because in every video, even when she's talking about her so-called uh, ideas and her giving her professional opinion about therapy, she's twerking in the video. She's bent over uh, funky braids and, and uh, ashy legs and slapping her ass cheeks and everything. So she's just a, a complete disgrace and someone who you should not listen to. Or should not have any faith in as a professional, and I don't know where this this new version, this new this new age version of black women came from. I can only assume you got a lot of women out here who get these these uh go to these colleges and get these degrees. They go into social sciences and feminism. They learn all this psycho babble. They don't have any type of real thoughts of their own. They get a lot of nonsense put, put poured into their heads. Like I said, it's not education, it's indoctrination. And they come out with a lot of weird mindsets and weird ways of thinking. Notice she's no different than uh, than Tierra Mack, the twerking senator from uh, Rhode Island, just the twerking state senator. Notice how they, they talk the same. They have the same arrogance. They talk the same uh, psychobabble and buffoonery. And they, they even somewhat look alike. Same funky braids. You know, same dusty houses and dusty apartments. Uh, like I said, they don't care about their personal appearance, obviously. Uh, this woman comes out here with ashy legs and slapping her little flat butt cheeks and twerking in videos and whatnot. So the same mindset. To the, You know, a lot of these, these modern w- black women have been indoctrinated with a lot of nonsense. And I'm not saying all. You know, it, it's a shame that you can't have more black women like Dr. Frances Cress Wilson who can get into psychology learn what she needs to learn to get her credentials, but then understand that this whole system is built to tear down black people. And she takes her credentials and she uses it to help her people rather than using, just regurgitating the nonsense that comes from these devils who are our natural enemies. Okay. But that's not what you get with, uh, Miss Shabby draws here. All right. So I'm going to play some of the audio that, uh, you know, people have been talking about, I'm going to play the initial audio that got her in trouble. And she later on made a uh, quote unquote apology, but even in the apology, she's still, still tearing down black men. But let's look at the original video and listen to how she talks. Let's, does this sound like someone who is professional or someone who, who you would want to go see as a therapist? Like listen to how she is very derogatory, not towards just men, but she curses and talking about the women too. She calls w- black women the B word and hoes and everything else. So let's listen to her her uh, her video 
where she's telling people they need help. So let's listen. Thank me to expand your emotional vocabulary. It's so your life can be easier. Don't you want to be able to communicate with your bitch? I think, I think, right? Long gone. So, so you see that? She, she's saying that. She's saying you need to improve your emotional vocabulary. Don't you want to be able to communicate with your bitch? Saying black, call, like like that's how all black men refer to their women or something like that. But she's referring to uh, black women as the B word. Let's play that again. Hold on. Thank me to expand your emotional vocabulary. It's so your life can be easier. Don't you want to be able to communicate with your bitch? I think, I think yes, right? Long gone are the days where you can just shut down. Bitches is not tolerating that. Like, it used to be where men provided financially. See, and, and, and see, I, I hate that, that too, where they say, well, you can't just shut down. But if you're berating me, like, like, what do you want? Do you want me to cuss you out? You see what I'm saying? That's, that's why a lot of men shut down and just don't want to say anything because it's just an argument. And at the end of the day, what most men want is some peace and quiet and some peace of mind at the end of the day. That's why we shut down for, for you or for those of you who are confused about that. Men shut down because we just want, we, we, we value peace more than anything else. And if, if just shutting down and, and being quiet ourselves will make you be quiet, then a lot of men will do that. I know that's not healthy. It's not, it's not healthy to bottle things up like that. But at the end of the day, like I said, we just want peace and quiet. And if you're berating us and just jabbering off at the mouth and, and just uh, being accusatory and attacking we just rather just be, just just be quiet and 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 let you just run out of steam and not give you any more energy so you can feed off that so you can just keep the argument going and going okay so that's why men shut down but let's listen to some more what this this knucklehead says let me scroll forward here so this is where she's telling telling men even more to get help Once again, calling, calling men the B word, calling women the B word, uh, telling us we need to expand our mo emotional vocabulary when she doesn't even have actual vocabulary to express herself. She's using profanity, every other word. Like, like I said, what type of professional therapist would you want to go talk to like that? You see what I'm saying? Like, what, what type of person would you want to communicate when that's the only way they know how to communicate with you? That's, this is not proper communication either. This is not an extensive vocabulary either. So why would I want to share myself or share the issues I'm having with someone who's extremely immature, who's dusty as all get out, like I said before, uh, dusty braids, dusty ass, and everything else. Her apartment's a mess. Why would I want to share myself with this person? This person doesn't have it together. Not even the semblance of having it together. Okay, slapping her ass and twerking in the video, showing her little, her her having her boobs all in the camera, little flat boobs all in the camera, and then then I'm gonna play some more video of some of her other videos, and you're just gonna see just how unstable this person is. Like what? Like why would I listen to this person when they're just unstable? You see what I'm saying? Like she's gonna she's trying to give professionalism and, and a professional opinion. Let's let's let me go find a video here where she's telling women to just go ahead and be a slut. Let's listen to that. If you want to be a slut, be a slut. If you want to go thought it out in the streets. Buy, bitch. Be in the fucking streets. But definitely be safe about it and try to find people that are reasonably sane. But See how she talks? She talks like a crazy person. And that yellow. Shake that shit open. Because you know why? Because you know why? You're going to die. And you want to be in your dead bed, you're like, damn, I should have shrugged on this mouth. Like, come on, like, you want to be 
you there? No. No. You want to tell your grandkids, yes, I was spotting. I was popping. I was living my life. Because you know why, bitch, you're going to die. So if you're thinking, should I sit on this shit? Sit on it. Sit on it. Sit on it. I'm a strong advocate for being a slut. Make sure you, make sure you get that clean little help and use that protection because... We ain't trying to get trapped, don't we? We ain't trying to get. But yeah, be a hoe. Your therapist co signed it. Be a hoe. Yeah, your therapist co signed it. Go be a hoe. Uh, so, so because all people are basically going to die one day, that means you need to just go ahead and uh, do all types of risky behavior. And she's trying to, she's trying to, you know, uh, clean it up a little bit by saying, you know, make sure you got a clean bill of health and all this other stuff. No, don't, don't listen to this fool here, okay? Because I already know she's not she's not doing any type of safe sex. She's not doing anything where she's getting a clean bill of health. Does she? She doesn't even look like someone who has a clean bill of health. That's my opinion. Sure, she's got all types of issues down there. She's that that eighty percent that Nick Cannon was talking about a few weeks ago that uh, does not have good hygiene. But you know, like I said, that's that's the nonsense that she's putting out there on her her TikTok on the regular. And once again. Is this someone that I need to be listening to as far as saying that I need therapy? Or is this someone that I need to go see as a therapist and have her talk to me about what's going on? Could you imagine this this woman working at a, like a high school or a college campus as a therapist there or a guidance counselor and telling your daughter, yeah, go be a slut. I'm your therapist. I advocate for you to do that. Go be a hoe. Can you imagine that? Is she going to be steering the, your young people in the right direction with that type of nonsense? And then she has another video here where she's talking about like how all men deserve to be in jail or in hell. Let's listen to this, too. A lot of more. Yeah, I'm going to have to get you some more grammar. Hold on. All right, what's up? I got a lot more shit on my mind. A lot of more grammar. I got a lot more shit on my mind. I'm going to spit it off. She's shaking a little flat ass in the whole video. The fact that men deserve hell and jail. Not all y'all, but just like 99.9.99% of y'all. Um, as someone who gives all in the relationships, I don't want to do that shit anymore. I would like to be taken care of, uh, but you know, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, you know, for one, I would like to be the one that's like nurtured, you know, but uh, not sure when or if that's ever going to happen. So in the meantime, I'm just going to mind my fucking business. Yeah. And you hear that skin slapping? That's her slapping her ass in the video. This is her making a video on TikTok. What is it with you you folks, these you new age folks who are supposedly professional just getting on TikTok? Instead of you getting a TikTok lady, you need to go sit in therapy somewhere. Get some help. Stay on your medication. I know you're on medication. I'm sure of that. Okay? I'm sure it's for mental health and, and for, for STDs and everything else. All right. But these are the people out here telling you that there's something wrong with you and they're crazy as cat shit. All right. And I just recently saw before I did this video, I was trying to look up videos of this woman and you got uh, some of these divestors and some of these so-called I'm an advocate for dark skinned women like Chrissy saying that this woman got fired. This is what happens when you try to help black men. So you see, see the, the insanity just goes all around in a circle. Now, Chrissy knows better than that bullshit. I know she knows better, but she's playing that whole game of uh, I need to bash black men and excuse whatever fuckery comes from black women because that's going to make me money on social media. She knows better. She's just as crazy as this chicken head right here. You know, I think this chick right here actually has, is a little has some issues that she needs to work out herself and get help. But there are people like Cynthia G and Chrissy who do know better, but they put out trash and tell women the wrong thing in order to enrich themselves. And they're they're both living just as dusty as this woman here, too, by the way. Broken and dusty and bitter. But uh but yeah, I mean this is this is the nonsense that's out there right now. And I would hope that, you know, for the most part, most black women understand that this woman's crazy and they shouldn't listen to her. Uh, actually, I got the the first time I saw this woman, a black woman sent her information to me saying that you need to see this nonsense and see how crazy this person is. And I, 
I think that's just for doing so. And I think it was a black woman that actually got this woman fired because they went in contact to wherever she was working and made sure that, you know, she doesn't have a job anymore. Showed the TikTok she's putting out there. And like I said, this girl got online, had the nerve to be crying, talking about they went to Massa and got me fired. No, you got yourself fired. Twerking your little flat, ashy butt cheeks, having your breast all in the camera, and, and twerking with a dusty apartment. If you have a professional job, why are you not doing that? Why are you not writing grants or, or writing papers or whatever? Like, you know, my wife is a doctor, so I, I see that type of work. My wife is constantly working. She doesn't have time to be twerking the damn camera. She barely has enough time for, for just making dinner at home or making a lunch for herself. She's not doing nonsense like this. That's what I'm saying. It's like, if you're, if you're a so-called professional, why are you not doing professional things? Why are you BSing all day? Why are you doing nonsense like this? That's that's how I know a lot of you, get, you you folks out there get these degrees that mean absolutely nothing. You just just regurgitate cycle babble and nonsense and try to use that as a way to make everyone else seem like there's something wrong with everyone else for all your failed relationships. You failed at your relationships. You're failing at life. It's not everyone else's fault. It's your fault because you're crazy and, and, you, and you put it out there. And it makes it painfully obvious that there's something wrong with you. You get help. Don't come out here saying, oh, you guys all, basically what they're saying when they say you need help or you need therapy is you you need to be indoctrinated so you'll do whatever I say. That's basically it. You need to be turned into a damn puppet so you can do what I want you to do. Not even do so you can do the right thing. Or you can get yourself straight, so you can do what what I want you to do, and be and be my cater to me and my craziness. I can be as crazy as I want to now, but you you gotta be straight and forward, and you have to put up with my nonsense. That's what they mean when they say that. And and, and for men out there, don't be led down the the wrong path by these buffoons here. Or make them or let them help you feel shame. And what's funny is she's trying to say like, oh, you shouldn't be listening to people like, you know, the Kevin Samuels out there and the whoever that are tearing down women. But she's doing the exact same thing, just doing it from the opposite gender now. Like what what sense does it make now that so I'm not supposed to follow those knuckleheads, but I'm supposed to follow you. You're just as, you're crazier than they are. Of course, I'm not going to follow you. And, and you have more of a bias to want me to do something to benefit you and not anybody else but you. So you folks let me know how you feel about this fool in the comments section. I'd very much like to hear your opinion. And like I said, I, I, you you can go online and find all of her videos. I they, She hasn't taken them down. Obviously, she enjoys it and she doesn't think there's anything wrong with them. Hopefully, one day she gets her brain fixed. I don't know when, but you let me know in the comments section what you think. Anyway, Mad Black. And I will be back with my foot on these devil's back.